is up it is Kimberly here and I'm super excited about today's video because I'm chilling on a bed instead of vlogging and I'm going to talk to you guys about a common question I get asked and that's Kimberly when are you gonna come back home and get a real job and in your vacation Hold up. everything about this question is just wrong 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 Mostly because I probably work a lot harder than people in a traditional job considering I can never really turn off when I work. I chose travel after graduation and this is why. Back in the day, <clears throat> one year ago, I was in university studying hours and hours making all A's and I was on the right track to go to law school. That's right. I was on a track to become a lawyer. Just saying that makes me want to barf. I thought it's a pretty prestigious job, pays well, I can continue doing school and avoid the real world. Let's be honest, why not become a lawyer? But I knew deep down inside that that was not the right track for me. Actually, in college was when I really started to travel. I went on a mission trip and I studied abroad, and those two trips absolutely just changed my world. I was presented with an opportunity to intern in Berlin, Germany. I was like, uh, yes, hello, Germany, I'm on my way, bye. And that's where it all began. That's when I really started to question about what I wanted to do. I studied European politics in college, so it felt like a good path, and it, at the time, I thought this would look really great on my resume for um, law school. So before my internship started, I randomly just decided one day, why not backpack around Europe before I get to Berlin, Germany? So a little over a month before my internship, I went on a backpacking trip around Europe completely alone. My poor parents, they were freaking out and it was absolutely the most magical time of my life. But instead of boring y'all with that story, I'm gonna go ahead and link the video here so that way you can watch it if you're interested in that. I talk all about my backpacking trip Warning, it was my first video I ever made, so it's a little cringy. Long story short, my internship is not what I expected it to be. I was slowly getting depressed about the idea of being stuck in a nine to five desk job my entire life. It really, really freaked me out. And to be honest with you, mentally, I was really done with school, like absolutely done. I had spent so many hours studying, studying, making good grades, and I was just kind of over it. It felt really meaningless, like there was no point to studying anymore. What was it really going towards in my life? How was I building the life that I wanted just by sitting in a library, studying hours? and hours. When it came to school, mentally, I was just Audi 5000. So I did a lot of research on what alternative options there were. I saw that you could volunteer abroad, intern abroad. After my internship, I was not wanting to intern abroad. Uh, there's work away, but I really wanted to do something that could help me achieve um, independence long-term wise. So I saw that I could teach English online to Chinese kids and that's a big way that a lot of nomadic people travel. I started watching a lot of videos. A lot of videos on how to become a digital nomad and I was like, yes, this is absolutely what I'm going to do. I'm gonna make it work. So I decided that after graduation, I was going to apply for online English jobs. So a week before I left Germany, I bought a round trip ticket back to Texas and then from Texas back to Germany in February because I was like, if I get my ticket now, I cannot BS myself. Like I will have to come back and travel. Even if I end up getting a job, I will have to just travel before my job or whatever. But I knew that if I had that deadline and that pressure set for myself, I could not wimp out of it. A week later, I got two online teaching jobs and that is what I am currently doing right now. And that is about it. I decided I wanted to travel because one, there's no better time to do it. I don't have rent, a family, a dog to take care of. And number two, 
The risk was low. If I absolutely hated it, I knew I could always get a flight back home and get a job. It was not a permanent decision in my mind. So if you're about to graduate university and you don't have any real responsibilities in life yet, and you don't wanna go into a traditional job and take a nine to five desk job, or you know work for corporate america or wherever you are then i really say just go for it there's no better time in life to do it now and you really just have to trust the process and that it will all work out and i mean come on guys it's 2019 you can easily find resources we have the internet where you can find tons of information on how to travel how to make it work you know what a lot of parents probably are not going to like this video when i say this but I say, if you are thinking about going to college and you're unsure about it, travel the world first. College will always be there. People make a big deal about college like you're dropping out of college. You can't even drop out of college. You can go back. I think society puts a stupid standard on people to conform to a certain role. And not everybody is meant to fulfill that. It's just a load of BS. It's 2019. That's all I gotta say today. If you wanna to go to college, go to college. If you don't wanna to go to college and you wanna travel the world, travel the world. It's your life. You are in control of it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, I would appreciate a like and remember to subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all next time, bye.